We are Core 10, and we are blowing it up on Capital Chaos TV. Hey everybody, this is Joe from Core 10. I am the guitarist for Core 10. I do play guitar. All right. And uh, is the mic on? and is the mic on? It's got an on and off switch. It is yes, on. It is on. Right. So we're good to go. Is this live? It's live TV. It's oh, it's live TV. TV. All right. Well, this is Core Ten. This is Ronnie King on the keyboards. David Severa uh, beating the shit out of the drums. Uh, Chris Dorme on the bass. Duncan Nisbet on vocals. Sean Linhoff on vocals. Brian and Linhoff. You gotta remember. Brian yeah, Linhoff. and it's Brian Linhoff. <laughs> Sean. And uh, I'm little Joe. I play guitar and uh, I, I get in on some vocals every once in a while. Um, we're here at the Boardwalk up in Sacramento on our little uh, West Coast swing. And uh, we're hitting some shows up here up north and going to Santa Rosa to do a benefit for all the fire victims. Um, we're excited to be out of Orange County. In the cold weather. In the cold weather with a little bit of fresh air oh. and uh, getting to meet some new people. Um, and uh, tonight is about the veterans. Uh, where it's another on Veterans Day. On veterans Day. And, uh, I met a fighter, a fighter pilot tonight. Uh, How was that? Surge was great. Surge was great. great guy. Yeah. Surge is great. So that's what we're all about. Yeah. We're here doing a couple of shows that are causes. Yeah. Yeah. We just uh, released our single uh, not too long ago, uh, Unforgotten, which is also about uh, homeless veterans uh, and, uh, you know, people that serve our country and come home and, uh, you know, don't, don't really get what's coming to them and, and have to deal with a little harder part of life. Um, so... Uh, Bringing awareness to them, children and homeless families also. Yeah. If you check it out, the videos on YouTube and there's a lot of factual stuff. Six hundred thousand families are currently homeless in the U.S. One point three million children are homeless in the U.S. So we're just trying to raise some awareness for that. And uh, tonight is uh, we're, we're headlining. We got a bunch of good bands down here at the Boardwalk. So anybody in the SAC area want to come out? Uh, with Vet Tracks and come support a great cause and listen to some great music and some great bands. You guys should come out and do that. Um, but uh, we definitely want to give a big thank you to all of our sponsors um, and everybody that helps uh, us sound so good and get out and do what we need to do. We got a validated centered clothing, um, cult of individuality clothing, uh, Schechter guitars, Solon clothing, Audio Technica. Audio Technica, Ear, earbuds, <laughs> uh, wedgie picks, Ignator amps. Uh, we, I mean, we we uh, we can't thank all of you guys enough. Yeah, all, all, all the rad drum people that have been hooking up David for years. We'd like to thank Capital Chaos too. For yeah, coming out. Check yeah. Out. Well, we just. Uh, we just got it. Yeah, besides all the crazy sexual stuff that we do. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, no, not together. No, no. Uh, we just uh, got done recording a single with Alejandro. Toronto from Buenos Aires. And uh, another one with Ulrich Wild, and they've been uh, working together, and uh, it's, very, it's coming out pretty... Yeah, it's a lot darker. Very loud. This previous one. Yeah. It's loud. Introspection. We're coming, we're coming heavy. Coming heavy. Coming heavy. Coming heavy with it, and it's something that uh, uh, hopefully all of you guys are anticipating. And. Uh, but we're heading. We're heading out for a little bit with Edema. We're heading out with a little bit. Right. We're heading out for a little bit with Edema, doing the House of Blues, uh, the Garden Amphitheater in Garden Grove, uh, Edema, um, on the 18th. And then uh, San Diego House of Blues with Edema. And we're looking to move uh, more towards uh, basically going into Vegas and Arizona, continuing touring with them. And that's where we're going over through the end of this year into next year. New single, lots of more shows. That's our, that's our future. Yeah, new single coming out. It's going to be called Introspection. That's the heavy one we're talking about with Ulrich and Alejandro. 
and uh, lots of new shows, a lot of them with Edema as well. So, yeah, look for us. We'll be getting out there. Yeah, the, the next few shows after we get back into Orange County, um, we're going to be doing uh, on November 18th with Edema, Dirty Machine, and a bunch of great other bands uh, at the Garden Amphitheater, Garden Grove. Then December, we're doing Edema and Dirty Machine. We're starting a little... Uh, tour with those guys uh, at San Diego House of Blues. We will be down there. I believe it's November, December, December 17th. And then a West Coast swing style. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll all be at NAMM. That's going to be nuts. At least for a little while. Yeah, we'll, uh, we're going out with, uh, with Schechter and Ignator. Definitely going to be doing some things uh, at NAM for sure, and uh, I know we have some interviews and stuff lined up that we'll yeah. be doing. Um, playing a show for Schechter, hint, hint. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe playing a, a, an after-party show on, on uh, Friday night with Schechter. We'll, we'll see how that goes. There's nothing set in stone yet, but that's what we're, we're planning on doing for sure. Uh, I, I think David's been through a bunch, but uh, this, is, this is my first time playing in SAC. Yeah. Oh, in SAC Town? On the way, on the way to somewhere else. <laughs> the crowd is crazy tonight. I mean, what's going on inside? I mean, a lot of great bands it, happening tonight as well. Uh, the bands, as uh, Sean will start rattling off all the band names tonight, right? Well, Tara Ferno for one, and uh, Eric Lewis, 20-year uh, veteran that just currently retired. Um, he's playing tonight? <laughs> he's, a, he's the owner of Vet Tracks, who's putting on this event tonight. I'd love to rattle off all the bands. Um, a D1 and uh, gosh dang it, man! I I need my little list. Uh, Bliss, yeah, Malcolm Bliss, and uh, shoot, we we got a yeah. Well, as I said, Terraferno, but absolutely, it's such a great cause, and we're truly honored to be here. Honestly, we mean that. Thank you so much for having us. We have a booking agent, uh, Jason Tyler from Front Row Entertainment. That helps a lot. Helps a lot. We have um, you know we have a strong team and. You, behind us nice. that are helping out. We have a publicist that we're going to be working with shortly. Don't want to name anything yet, but... but we'll, 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 be, uh, we'll be getting some uh, management soon enough. Yeah, soon well, that's later. that's next on our uh, checklist, so... Well, the first single just came out, so we think maybe we need maybe another song, you know? And that's kind of what uh, we've been just working on. We're just focusing on putting out the best music we can and taking our time and doing it the right way, period. You know? For all the right that's right. So there it is. And there you have it. Think about it. But yeah. We were just saying earlier in interviews, now, they always ask a lot of people that interview us. They always like, well, you know, what's your sex life like? And is there crazy parties after the show? And how many drugs are you doing tonight? Or how many are you on? I'm on zero right now. You're Absolutely. I've been on zero for like nine years. Because I can. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's like... Is that really what being in a band's all about, you know? Pretty much, yeah. I go to crazy <laughs> parties and, uh, you know, we do crazy things like drink tea and play Scrabble. And the other day I got an amazing, I got a triple word score on Xerox <laughs> and I, I couldn't freaking believe my luck. So, I mean, that is the kind of cool stuff that happens to bands. When you I washed them. down some uh, Advil with an IPA. Yeah, well, no, I mean, basically what we've just been doing, I mean, we're, we're a relatively new band and we've had a lot of uh, really cool things happen really, really quick because of the, uh, obviously because of the, the cool people we get to work with. There's the hamburger but lady. There is the hamburger lady. Say hi, hamburger the, lady. Best hamburgers in town at the boardwalk hi. in Sacramento. There she is. Um, amazing. Amazing hamburgers, by the amazing. way. Amazing. But uh, we're, we're really doing a lot of writing and what, what we've been doing together as a band when we get, get in there with all the new stuff that we've been coming up with is is uh it just kind of blows my mind every time we do it so i mean that's basically what we're working on and hopefully we get a full length album sometime next year and 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 keep pushing forward no but really how about your sex life everybody here is married except for me so um right when i joined this band uh, i i just got out of a, a six-year relationship with 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 a, with a woman and uh we actually wrote a song about it and uh it's called train wreck, so listen to that. But uh, my finger love. Yeah, <laughs> my finger love, and uh, so uh, and I don't get much action. So if you're out there, ladies, I am the single man in Corten. 
I think and I do like sex, if, if that helps. Yeah, Does that, okay. I think Dun Duncan said it right. This is going to double as his Tinder video. <laughs> Thanks. I, I've done I've done a, I've done enough partying to, to last a lifetime, and and uh, I actually got nine years clean and sober. Um, and there's been a lot of people in the music industry, a lot of friends in and out of the music industry that we all known and love that have it had an effect on us all one way or the other that have died because of of you know drug and alcohol addiction, and and it and it's terrible. But um, you know, for me, I've I've found a better way of life. And, you know, being in bars and partying or being around things, it doesn't bug me anymore just because, I, you know, I, I'd i rather remember what I get to do tomorrow, you know what I mean, personally. And um, But I, I'm, I'm a huge advocate for recovery. Um, I've always have been, always will be, and I'm always one of the first people that'll, that'll reach out and try to help somebody if they are struggling. So, um, but yeah, it's... It, well, it's a bummer. It's absolutely a slippery slope. Chuck Mosley, that's tragic. You know, he was just starting to get his career going and really going again, and he just fell back into old habits. And that seems to be the routine of where it goes, you know. It's a lot of – or they had pre-existing co conditions that led to emotional, you know, difficulties that, you know, be it suicide or – be it suicide or whatnot. You know, it's – uh Seems to be a vicious circle. You get clean, you feel strong. I can do this. I can party, and then you end up taking a dirt nap, just to put it in a bad way. But it's the truth of it and the harsh reality. I mean, some of our favorite uh, singers have, been, are you know, are gone now, within the last two years, right? You know, that got clean, but still there was these pre-existing conditions that led to. Who knows what it led to? None of us were there in the room with them. But it's, uh, I don't know, it just, it leads you to think. And if their desk can lead you to think and keep a straight path and focus on your career and achieve and help somebody else, well, bless you, man. Then that's kind of where it's at, I think. <laughs> yeah, but for, for me, I mean, a lot of these guys, they've been in the limelight for a long time. And, and, they, and for me, what I get off on these days is, is being able to come out to shows and do what I get to do and get to play in bands with great guys like this and, and uh, get on stage. That's well, where I get my rush. <laughs> and this guy. I, I, you notice I pointed to all of these guys. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Like <laughs> and this like guy. Me. No, but... Um, thrown the king. Yeah, mu music's my drug these days for me. But thanks for having us, Capital Chaos. Really, honestly. Duncan, you got one you want to throw in? Uh... Yeah, uh, <laughs> with Donald, Donald Duck, right, goes to the club, brings a girl back to his hotel. Uh, they, didn't have, they didn't have any protection, so he goes down to the front desk, and he asks the clerk, he goes, hey, you know, can I get a condom? The condom says, sure, can I put that on your bill? And Donald goes, what, are you some kind of fucking pervert? <laughs> some fucking disgusting. Anyway, that's it.